So if you like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, Slash Story of Seasons, and or Pokemon, you might want to consider giving Ooblets a go. So Ooblets is a farm sim game that was just released last week on July 15th by the indie developer Glumberland for Xbox One and PC. And right now it's actually still in early access, so the game isn't finished yet. There's still some glitches, but they've been utilizing their Discord as a place where gamers can go and report on their errors. But as of now, I've only noticed a small amount of glitches in the game, nothing game breaking at all. And I've been playing the game for about a week now, and honestly, it's addicting. So I figured I'd make this video where we talk about what the game actually is and if you should give it a shot. All right, so let's start off at the beginning here. So you travel to Badge Town, which is a town where people in Ooblets live together. And we'll get into what Ooblets is in a second. Having lived in a place where Ooblets were banned, you're excited for a new start. And upon arrival, the mayor of Badge Town offers you a place to stay equipped with a farm that you can work on throughout your gameplay. In addition to this, she explains how Ooblets, these tiny creatures who inhabit the island and love dancing, are a big part of their culture. In fact, they even have clubs with specific themes that you can join where you get your first Ooblet. And essentially what you do here is collect them and you can even dance battle these little fellows against other people and other Ooblets. And depending on the circumstance, you can collect a seed from successfully completing a dance battle and grow that Ooblet seed on your farm to collect even more Ooblets. Now there are a lot of different aspects to the game. We just touched on Ooblet collecting and farming, but you are also going to have objectives to build up the town using the supplies you find and grow to unlock more features, such as a dance studio where you can embark in daily tournaments, a hot air balloon so you can travel to different places and encounter new Ooblets, and finally build up relationships with people living in Badge Town and get awards for your friendship. All of that said, this game is definitely giving me Pokemon on Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, and even Animal Crossing vibes. So let me explain here. So the aspect of dance battling other Ooblets operates similar to Pokemon because every battle you do, your team of Ooblets gains experience. And during battle, you sometimes need to be strategic in the way that you initiate your moves. You build a team based on their specific move sets that can complement one another. And finally, you can even run into shiny variants of the Ooblets that are considered rare. Now the whole idea of inheriting a farm, building it up and harvesting the crops to sell, to give to people for missions, to create new machinery, to turn items into something new, etc, etc, really gives you the same kind of gameplay experience as Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons, as well as Stardew Valley. And of course, I'm thinking about Animal Crossing because you get all these new recipes and blueprints so you can use the items and resources you have to create new things. And I think that all of these games share a similar vibe in building up relationships, not only with the townsfolk, but with your Uber Blitz in order to receive new benefits. But I think more importantly, it's the whole vibe of the game that I think people who appreciate those games will enjoy. It's very cute and it's very chill. The people have their own unique language, there's no pressure to advance in the game, so you can take your time with it and just enjoy maybe one or two aspects of the game without having to worry about other parts if you don't want to. So overall, I think there's a lot to this game. There's a ton of missions and each time you complete one, new mission spring out of that so I don't think that you're gonna get bored playing it anytime soon and I think that once you get into the swing of things with what you farm and how you turn that resource or plant into something new in order to progress in your mission is pretty exciting and there's definitely a strategic aspect to the game if you want to get the most out of it but anyway let me know what you think of Ooblets down in the comments below and if you've decided to pick it up I'd love to hear your thoughts on it I hope that this overview was helpful for you for those who are still deciding whether or not they could pick it up up. If it was, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll be streaming Ooblets on Twitch. I stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So hopefully I'll see you there. As always, I appreciate the support and I will see you next time.